Howdy champs, my name is Mohidan guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a, uh, an automatic picture gallery that advances to the next frame uh, after 3 seconds and uh, for this example I'm using 3 pictures guys, you can have used as many pictures as you want Okay. Um, not only is it an automatic picture gallery which means that it will advance to the next frame or the next picture without any user intervention it also loops back to the very first picture after all the pictures have exhausted showing themselves and uh, <coughs> excuse me uh, there's a fade in as well okay uh, for which I've used transition manager class guys so I think uh, I'll explain things in detail later on let me first show you a published preview by hitting control enter on my keyboard here goes control enter all right so this is the first picture fading in uh, here comes the second one and uh, this is the third one It'll loop back to the very first one okay the fade in has been accomplished only through the action script guys as i said using the transition manager class and uh, just as i mentioned earlier i've used three pictures but that is not mandatory uh, you could have used as many pictures as you want uh, the stage size i've set to 550 by 400 again guys uh, it goes without saying that you can use pictures or stage of any size uh, it'll be a good idea guys if you stitch uh, you know set the co background color of the stage to the one that I've kept uh, a pound sign triple three triple three uh, or you could probably keep it any other darker color maybe even black you see if you keep it to white when the picture you know the next picture fades in you can actually see the background a white background that doesn't look so good so ideally it should be a darker background I personally find uh, pound sign triple three triple three to be a very good uh, stage color all right so let's have a peep inside the uh, actions panel guys uh, here are a few classes uh, you know that get auto imported when you write the code sometimes you have to write uh, it themselves okay so uh, I've, I've used the uh, transition manager class as I said and I've used the timer class as well all right and uh, guys I think things will become much more clear if I just retain the three pictures and destroy the s3 layer and reconstruct the actions to three layers once again still have a much better idea all right so guys have a look out here the layer at the bottom is the pictures layer and if i scrub the timeline you can actually see the pictures changing right okay so for this example i've used three pictures and as i said you could have used 5 10 12 whatever okay and the top layer is the as3 layer which contains the action script 3 i'm going to destroy the layer i'm going to redo it from the very beginning okay so all that I'm left with is the pictures layer which has the pictures which have been converted to movie clips you see the first picture I've called MC1 the registration point is top left guys for the second picture I've given it a name of MC2 it's a movie clip again and the registration point is the same the top left the third picture again is a movie clip guys <coughs> beg your pardon and uh, it has been given an instance name of MC3 okay now what I'm going to do is, as I said, I'll be creating or uh, reconstructing the action script layer so that you can actually understand uh, it, the concept much better. So I'm renaming the layer AS3. Let me go back to the very first uh, frame of the AS3 layer. Let me right click open up the actions panel guys. Cool. Let me then start uh, using the action script. Okay. So first things first guys let me use the stop function okay this is because I would uh, want the uh, you know playhead not going to the second and the third frame unless and until it's being told to do so cool also guys since I'll be using the transition manager class I need to import uh, use the import uh, command and uh, import in a few classes that are necessary which are not available by default okay so I'm gonna say import fl dot transitions dot star okay and import fl dot transitions dot easing dot star the wildcard okay so whatever falls under transitions and whatever falls under easing I need all those classes to be imported cool 
which means guys uh, that I should I can actually begin using the transition manager so I'm gonna do just that I'm gonna say transition in fact before I do that guys let me hit control enter to show you what I've done so far control enter to test exporting the swift movie guys guys the only thing that happens right now is that the first picture shows up the second and the third don't that's because we have used the stop uh, pre-built function okay which does not allow the player to go to the second or the third frame right after which guys I'm going to use the uh, transition manager I'll tell you how to use it I'm going to say transition manager dot start and then uh, you get a very nice tooltip guys telling you what it actually is looking for it's looking for the name of the movie clip which is mc1 the first picture that is put a comma out here guys and then in the in you know the curly braces you need to tell the type of the transition that you would want to see i'm gonna say i would want to see the fade happening oh on the mc1 okay that's all that you need to write out here let me control enter to show you what has actually happened okay um, I think I made a mistake somewhere transition manager dot start hmm. okay I figured out my mistake guys you need to actually close the uh, round bracket out here all right now things should be fine now things should be uh, sorted so let me hit control enter root test and uh, here goes okay so let me show it to you again control enter to test okay you can see that the first picture actually pops up and uh, shows through cool all right um, guys let me go on typing further okay um, also guys in line number four I'm gonna create a variable that I'll use a lot okay variable f and I'm gonna make it equal to uh, total frames now total frames gives you the total number of frames on the timeline which in our example is three okay cool next guys I'll be using this uh, value total frames actually I could have kept it at number three as well but you see tomorrow you you may want to add or delete certain frames and even then you wouldn't want to change the action script that is the reason why we actually use the variable f okay next guys I'm gonna create a, a, a timer okay since I'll be using the timer class which I promised you earlier so variable my timer uh, of the type timer okay space equals space new timer obviously I'm creating a new instance of a timer guys uh, I need to give in uh, two parameters the first parameters you know the delay the second parameter is the repeat count so I'm gonna go with the the delay so I would want the you know the delay to be three seconds which is 300 3000 milliseconds and I would want the repeat count to be the same as the total number of frames which is but f which is the variable f okay so uh, I hope there's no confusion out here next guys I'm gonna at attach an event listener to my timer so my timer dot add event listener basically I'm taming or training my timer to listen to three seconds so I'm gonna say my timer uh, dot add event listener timer event dot timer okay I'm telling what the event is it's a timer event specifically you see uh, and then I need to uh, you know have a function name so I can go with any any name that I like I'm going with a very simple name go okay and uh, next guys I need to define the function go so function go and then I need to tell flash the event so event is actually uh, timer event okay and then uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna write the function uh, which is pretty simple guys uh, let me show you how to write it uh, all I need to do is when three seconds elapse I won't want the player to go to the next frame okay so next frame parent parent semicolon and then I'm gonna say if uh, my timer dot current count is equal to is equal to f now f is nothing but uh, the total number of 
uh, frames if you remember which is three guys okay so you, you know the timer dot current count the current count see what is current count the first time the timer fires the current count is one the second time the timer fires the current count is two the third time the timer fires the current count is three and then the timer actually comes to a stop so basically when the current count is three i would want instead of uh, the playhead going to the next frame i would want it to play so i'm going to use the play i'll tell you what that does next frame means go to the next frame and stop there play means it can then loop back to the very first frame okay if it will loop back to the very first frame guys i'll tell you what will happen um sorry okay so basically when the current count becomes equal to three I would want the play, uh, you know, the inbuilt play function to fire. Basically, instead of next frame, I would want uh, next frame means go to the next frame and stop. Play means uh, if it has actually encountered the last frame, it will go back to the very first frame. There is a difference there. Okay, so I'm gonna just uh, play parent parent semicolon, and uh, then I need to close the curly braces. Cool, and. Uh, Guys, let me hit Control Enter to you know test the movie. I'll I'll show you nothing really happens. I'll explain that a little later. Okay, so basically, uh, let me remove it. Uh, you know, out of the way. You see, let me hit Control Enter once again. The picture, the first picture fades in. I'll show you how. See, the first picture fades in, but the timer does not kick off. You see, just creating a timer is not enough. You have to start the timer as well. So what I'll do is out here. Uh, I'll say my timer dot start. I need you know I need to use the start function parent parent semicolon. Now the timer will kick off, and every time that you know timer fires, which is after uh, 3,000 milliseconds, it will take us to the next frame. And uh, when the timer exhausts, basically when the current count becomes equal to three, you know instead of going to the next frame, it will play. Play means if it is on the third frame, it will take it back to the very first frame. That is responsible for the looping. Okay, so let's test uh, what exactly has happened so far. So that's the first picture fading in. The second uh, picture appears without the fade in, and the third picture also appears without a fade in. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to uh, you know fade in the second and the third picture as well, and that is where the project will actually terminate. So that's very simple, guys. All you need to do is let me copy line number eight, transition manager dot start. Uh, blah 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 whatever okay i'm gonna go to the second frame where you have the second picture i'm gonna press f7 and then f9 okay okay so f7 and then i can right click and say actions or uh, i can also press f9 so this is the actions panel guys i need to just drop in the code out here okay and since the uh, picture on the second frame is not mc1 it's mc2 i need to change that to mc2 rest all the code remains just the same likewise guys i'm going to go to the third frame i'm going to say insert blank keyframe i'm going to right click i'm going to say actions and then i'm going to drop in the code out here just change mc1 to mc3 and i should be sorted guys basically what i've done is i've used the transition manager class on all the three pictures on all the three frames that's all that i needed to do okay so this is frame number one which contains the transition manager class as well as the timer class that's frame number two that's frame number three okay frame number two and three have the transition manager class as well to fade in the pictures and guys see what happens out here in line number 18 which is responsible for the loop when the current count of the timer becomes equal to f f is the total frame so basically when the timer has exhausted itself i'm saying play instead of saying next frame so which will take the playhead back to the very first frame it will kick off the timer uh, once again and uh, the result is before you control enter okay so that's the first picture fading in it'll go to the second picture that fades in as well which uh, takes you to the third picture which fades in as well and we'll loop back to the very first picture the second picture and here comes the third picture we should loop back again to the very first picture and guys it'll go on forever it'll loop forever so basically guys you see i've used um, a, a lot of action script and uh, hardly and there's not much on the timeline okay just two frames the pics and the as3 lab okay guys so i hope you like this tutorial and i hope to see you very soon i hope to see you coming back again and again to watch my tutorials you have a good day guys bye bye peace